Hey guys and welcome to part 9 of my Pokemon Sword Let's Play. Today we're registering to the inn. Good evening and welcome to the Budu Drop Inn. You must be one of the Pokemon trainers entering the gym challenge. Yes. Yes, young Master Clopio, I see that the League has booked a room for you. And if I might, thank you for helping us out of a sticky situation with those hooligans earlier. I hope you have a pleasant stay here with us, sleep well. And I think that means we've woke up. That sound effect or tone or whatever you want to call it. Tune even. The next morning. Morning. So this is it. Now my legend really begins. Watch out, Clopia. I'll beat you to Motorstoke Stadium. Right, well, off we go again, I guess. Gym Challenger, the opening ceremony is starting soon. Please allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. What happens if I say no? Of course, you should have no problem making your own way through to the gym stadium, right? So I do actually get to do it by myself. And here we go. I guess we'll get to see... And that guy has a Pokeball head. And what do I get as a reward? A Pokeball. In case you were wondering, I'm not just any old Pokeball, but then who am I, you ask? Well, the answer is simple. They call me the ball guy. Anyway, let's go in and see the ceremony. I can't wait for the first match. Pretty soon I'll have so many fans, I'll have to fight them off like Lee does. Right, when actually does it start? Well, I forgot to read any of that, but um, I'm getting some uniform. Ooh, and here we go. Wonderful, you look sharp as a pin, and that's 69 there. That really is the number for you. Now we're ready at last for the opening ceremony for this year's gym challenge. Right, that's the guy we saw at the start of the game. Don't know about the girl, though. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Rose, Chairman of the Pokemon League. I know that everyone gathered here and everyone watching from home have all been waiting for this big moment. It's my pleasure to announce that the Galar Region Gym Challenge will now begin. Yes, the Gym Challenge. Participants must defeat the eight gym leaders and gather the eight gym badges to prove their skills as a trainer. Only the most worthy will have the honour of challenging the greatest champion in history. Now I would like to invite the gym, invite the gym leaders to show themselves. And we get a back screen. Oh, here we go. The fighting farmer, here's the grass type expert, Milo. The raging wave is the master of water types, Nessa. The ever burning man of fire, here comes the fire type veteran, Kabu. The Galar Karate prodigy, nobody's better with fighting types than B. The master of a fantastic theatre, it's the charming fairy type user, Opal. The hard rock crusher, please welcome the rock type master, Geordi. And last but not least, the farm tamer of dragons is Raihan, the top gym leader. Unfortunately, we're missing one, but these are the gym leaders that we in the Galar region are proud to call our own. I was gonna say why are they only seven. Ooh, and here comes me. And a load of other trainers. Or gym challenges as they call them. Standing there on the pitch in the stadium in front of everyone. There's really no words for it, but I can barely contain myself. My heart's racing. You've made it at last, Hop, and you too, Colopio. So you're the two trainers our champion endorsed himself. Welcome, and it's a delight to meet you. I'm Rose, of course. Oh, and what's this? I see you both already possess Dynamax bands. How wonderful. It seems you two have been led here by the guiding light of the Wishing Stars. By the way, it was my wonderful company that invented those Dynamax bands, you know. I dare say this year's gym challenge is looking to be an absolute blast. Very good, very good indeed. That means the whole Galar region is in for some excitement. The gym challenge is an excellent opportunity to show off your Dynamax Pokemon. Now, I'm totally sorry, but there is some urgent business I need to attend, to attend to, so I must be on my way. The best of luck to both of you. The chairman certainly seems to be in high spirits. Now listen closely, you two. You've both only just got started on your path as trainers. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokemon. You need to train yourselves too. Let's do it, Clopio. You know the gym challenge has set an order that you've got to visit the gyms in, right? The first is in Turfield, and to get there we need to head to Route 3. Well, I actually want some more Pokeballs, but annoyingly it doesn't seem the shop sells any normal ones, which I don't know why, but yeah, I guess we'll head to Route 3 and head towards Turfield. And I get a gift from the chairman. A gift, such a wonderful thing from the chairman, such a wonderful man. Um, excuse me, the gift is access to the flying taxis. They allow you to, in a word, fly. Calling a flying taxi will allow you to travel quickly back to areas you've already visited. If it's alright with you, I'll read a segment from the flying taxi's user manual. Ahem. Press the X button and select the town map option to choose a place you'd like to go. Anyway, your next goal should be Tearfield, isn't that right, Clopio? When travelling to a new place, it's best to get there on your own two legs, don't you think? Ooh, and there's a load of people here. Wait, here it is. I was going to say, where's the lift thing? So I saw quite a few Pokemon that I don't have um, further down here, so I'm going to go see if I can get some. Here we go, it was over here I think, if I remember correctly. Here we are, some donkey looking thing. A Mudbray. Right, the sunlight is harsh, no idea what that means, but I'll try to catch it anyway. 
And its defence rose. And its defence rose sharply. Great. Seems to really want its defence to go up because it's using a lot of defence increasing items for whatever reason. Um, hopefully we can catch it anyway. I'll use double kick and hope that it doesn't kill it. It might though because I think it'll be effective. No, it isn't good. And it's increasing its defence again. I'll use tackle. Why not? Don't know if we're going to be able to catch this to be honest because we're attacking it a lot and it's not going down much. Ooh, that worked a bit better. I'll tackle it one more and then try catch it. I think if I hit it again it'll die so I'm not going to hit it again. Ooh, and I got one shot. I reckon it's a ground type now then, since it used Earthquake. I mean, I think it used Earthquake, that's what it looked like. I didn't actually read the move. Right, let's see if I can catch it. And I can. Mudbray was caught. And Nickit grew to level 11. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, even though by the sound of it I'm completely losing my voice. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.